Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, Independent Demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it is an awesome technique that I learned from Terry Polkog. I'm not sure if that's the way you say her name, but she's from, uh, I think from another country, maybe UK, Australia, not sure. So, what? COVID-19, I know many uh, panicked and bought a lot of uh, tissue uh, toilet paper. Well, if you buy, if you bought too much, I'm going to share with you a fun technique. And um, I'm using about, you know, one the square and half another one. It doesn't matter. I want between three and four layers. Three layers, really, it's good. So I'm going to cut that right here. Here we go. So three layers I'm using. You can use three, four layers of uh, toilet paper. And if you see, this is very, very deep. I don't know how much you can see. It is gorgeous. So first thing you want to do, let me bring, I just got a mat here because it's going to get wet. You're going to take your spritz bottle and you want something uh, that spritz, a very light mist. And I love our spritz bottle for that. And I'm going to have all the link of the supplies except the toilet paper on my blog below. You get the direct link. So you're going to miss this, okay? Miss that on one side and miss this on the other side. Now, let me remove this here. So now you know why I needed that. I'm using the Persian Flourish 3D embossing folder. I'm going to put that in and make sure you didn't have no ink. Uh, I don't know which technique I done before uh, I did this one, but I had ink on my folder. Now I'm going to go and emboss that in my machine. So let me roll this quick. And you're going to see the magic. Okay. Ready? Voila! It get it very, very, see how pronounced that is, very, very much so deep. So, now, this going to have to dry. Well, I got one that it's dry. Let me move this here so I get more of the light there. Here we go. Now, um... And this one here, I use the old uh, world uh, paper, the new embossing folder. That's another one. So you can use any of the 3D, something uh, fun like that. You see, I had color there, but we still going to use it. Uh, I must emboss something that I had color. So what I done, I use my soft suede. This is to make it antique there. Um, you can use different color. I just love this one. I just tap and tap. And I think the other one I use um, um, crumb cake. I thought I used soft suede but now I'm looking at that I use crumb cake. But that's going to look uh, good also. Now I'm going to use my um, sponge that I had it right here. Oh, here it is. And I'm sponging, and this is completely dry. So you want this super dry, okay? So I'm going to sponge, and this one is just two layers, and that's what I'm saying. You want three, at least three layers, three to four, and um, that make it much uh, stronger. It's, it's almost like paper then. Okay, so now I get a little bit of the crumb cake. I'm going to add some of the pool party again. That make it almost like a patina uh, look, right? I'm just adding a bit here and there. And the other color, like I said, I'm not worried about that. I think it's just going to add some character. Okay, 
that's about it it's just to add a little bit you just want to be very careful I know when you emboss with cardstock you know what let me emboss one with cardstock so you see the difference and um, I'm gonna spritz it with water too so let me just here we go both sides let me emboss this so then you can see the difference between the toilet paper and the paper. I think it's the softness of all the paper. See, it is pronounced, but not as much as this. Okay, so now we got that. So it's a good way to use all that toilet paper that you bought that for you know you get too much some people went and bought way too much now what I done I use a piece of uh, crumb cake you can use uh, any color that you wish for okay and I use my tear and tape and this measure four by five and a quarter again it's four by five and a quarter I put my uh, tear and tape all around you want to go pretty much at the edge. I could go more on the edge there. And I'm going to put a piece also in the middle so it won't bow. Here we go. So more on, right on the edge there. And I'm going to put the piece there. The piece in the center really it's so it's stop of bowing. Curling. Put it that way. Now let's use my pick tool here just rub the, this very lovely. You can always use your bone folder to uh, press the tape flush. Now you just take the corner there and lift. You just poke it and then it's going to come right off. If you try to take your fingers in that, oh my goodness. I don't know if some of you remember one of the video way back a few years ago. We had that new one. Um, red sticky strip it's like the tear and tape but it's the backing it's red my goodness i think it took me five minutes in the video to remove that people laugh here we go now you're going to take your piece of toilet paper and i like to put this one down some funny toilet paper right and i'm going to put it right there and then see i keep this up and I'm going to push it down. Oops, make sure I'm the edge there. So it's about the same width than four inch, just a little bit. So now press it all the way down. What I've done, I took my scissors going from the back, always cut from the back, go right at the edge of your, uh, uh, let me think here of your cardstock you're going to see well if you put it on another layer why not put it right on without doing this i tried to cut that on my paper trimmer and really it just won't tear up so that is the reason why i do this on another piece of cardstock like i said you could use uh, any color in the back now we're going to put this on early espresso. Oops. First, let me do, um, I'm using that suede, that faux suede trim. I absolutely love this. It feels like suede. It is a lovely trim. Again, I will have all the link below. Uh, I will have the measurement, all the supplies and color that I use, and the easy shopping. Now let's bring this. I just want, I'm going to put this this way here. And bring it a little bit more higher here. Oh, too much on one side, not enough on the other. Let's just make sure it's straight. And I always like to, and I add too much ribbon. That that's my fault. I mean, I I use always too much ribbon. That's just me, because I don't measure. And put it down. So I just get a little one eighth of an inch uh, border 
of the early espresso, that's five and three eight by four and one eight. We're gonna put that on a crumb cake. And I wish you can see how deep that is. So uh, three, four uh, layers, four I think it's the best. Now that I tried them all, I tried two, I think it's not enough. Three, it's good. Four, it's great. Now, for this flower, this is a new set. They are Tasteful Touch, and you're going to see a lot of uh, my video using that. I stamp that on crumb cake and sponge around with crumb cake. Stamp it with early espresso, sorry. And I had a little bit of Wink of Stella there. And this one here, it's on white, stamped with uh, early espresso. I use pool party uh, blends, and I just did the bottom tips. You see the rest, it's white. But then I use my crumb cake sponge, and I aged this here. That's what I done to uh, age that flower. It really look antique. And then I still use my Wink of Stella and just did a little bit of feathers where um, the feather stroke where the lines are. So let me finish that. So you see it was very simple and it was the same thing with uh, the blends. I just color where the dark is at that blue and then we're going to put in the center. So you see, it looked like I start with very vanilla, really, but it, it, it was white. Now, let me use dimensional. Here and here. And then we're going to put that right here. And now you're wondering what the heck she did there, the, where you did your full uh, bow there, or loop, or not. Just cut this, and then I'm going to bring that here. Here we go. Voila, how antique it is, right? And inside, I use a piece of very vanilla. Oh, I must have had a boo-boo. Yeah, I had a boo-boo there. And stem my flower again with early espresso. So I don't have no greeting, no nothing. It can be for any. I can add a happy birthday, thinking of you, whatever. Et voila, my friend. I so wish you could see how deep it is. That is it. So thank you, uh, Terry, for uh, Inspire Me and Verna for sending me that link. So that's about it, my friend. Visit my blog right below. You get the direct link, and I will have all measurement there and all supplies. Bye-bye for now.